And we'll begin with breaking news. Portland fire and rescue crews are looking for a man who may have drowned in the Willamette River late tonight. He went underwater while swimming with his wife. Welcome to COIN 6 News at 11 o'clock on the Saturday night. I'm Cor Harlan. This happened along the south waterfront near the old spaghetti factory on the Willamette River. And tonight that's where we find Alyssa Harrington. Uh, Alyssa, uh, late breaking story tonight. What can you tell us so far? Well, Court, it's not looking good. The water is cold, about 65 degrees, and the man has been missing for three hours now. Officials are calling this a possible drowning. Firefighters say that the man and his wife decided to go for a dip just before 8 o'clock tonight. They left most of their clothes on land and then tried to swim over to Ross Island. About halfway across, the man started having some trouble, and his wife screamed for help. Jenny Stein and her five-year-old daughter, Eliza, heard those cries. At first I thought somebody was on the other side of the island having a party and I looked over and I didn't see anything and I realized it was somebody calling for help so I called 911. The woman was rescued. A man on a fishing boat heard her calls for help and responded. He pulled her out and put, him on, put her onto his boat. Her husband, though, has not been found, and he was last seen mid-river. Portland Fire and Rescue crews had boats out on the water, and they also searched up and down the river on jet skis. They actually cleared the scene about an hour and a half ago, and that's because they do think that the man drowned, and they're now turning the call over to the Multnomah County Dive Team, who will continue the search underwater. As for the woman, we do not know her condition and no names or ages have been released. Reporting live, Alyssa Harrington, Coin 6 News.